Welcome back to Kim's Art Alchemy. Today I am going to make a mold. I want to make the world's smallest like circular mold for um, resin. So I'm going to try and make something like this, only the size just larger than that. So that's going to be my blank in there. So I have a tile. This will fit perfectly on there. And I've got this sticky paper that goes underneath and the sticky side needs to be up so that this sticks to it. So I got started here. And then I turned on the video. So that's good. How do we get that to be smooth? I think it's good. I think it's good. don't want you don't want to have that resin resin <laughs> that silicone leaking out just the whole idea behind this paper so I got this um, mold adjustable mold housing off of Timu the tape is also off of Timu and then the um, the rubber, the silicone rubber, I actually bought at um, I think it might have been Hobby Lobby. And this is one to one. Ooh. Can I possibly make more of a mess? Okay, so I'm seeing bubbles. What do I do with the bubbles? What do I have that can sit on this? I got an interesting question from a viewer <laughs> on my last Dragon Eye, and she asked whether it could be done with UV resin. And my thought immediately was no. And then I thought, maybe. Um, if we don't cure the resin right away, would it create the same effect as a dragon eye? So first of all, I had to create this, this world's smallest <laughs> coaster. In fact, I even brought this out. Let's see how big it is. It is about three and a half, three and a half centimeters. 
for just under an inch and a half. And the depth is, you know, like that much. <laughs> I'm gonna use uh, my acrylic inks by Holbein, Hansa Yellow and Thalo Green, and the Solar Gold by Perlex and White Haven by This Little Piggy. So I'm going to pour out a small, tiny amount of this UV resin into each one of these cups so that I've got one for each of the colors and a clear push at the end. So I'll be right back once I get all this uh, mixed up. Okay, so I've got everything mixed up. Now to decide what I'm gonna start with. Um, I think I'm gonna start with the yellow. So one thing about this is that this resin is really thick. It's significantly thicker than the resin, the one-to-one -one resin, also by Let's Resin, that I used um, for the regular coast, for the regular Dragon Eye. All right, well, that's a good start. And then we follow by putting half of the gold in. I just I'm probably not going to be using all this. You'll see that I didn't really use up um, all the uh, yellow because it has to fit in the mold too. All right, gold. Then we do the white. And we do two layers of the gold and the white and only one layer of the colors. And it's hard to see where the gold ends and that yellow begins. <laughs> Put a little bit more of that in. Another blob. Okay. And then the green. Also, just so you know, I've received questions on whether my heat mat is on. No, it is not on. I don't usually turn the heat mat on until the resin has been sitting for an hour because it needs to have time to do its thing. But after an hour, um, that your resin is pretty much stopped moving. That's when I turn it on. Put some more in there. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a vote. <laughs> who thinks this is gonna work versus who doesn't think this is gonna work? and the second layer goes in backwards. So the first layer we started the color, then the gold, then the white, then we have the other color and then the white, and you finish with the gold. And then the big push, well, it's a little push. Put a little bit more gold in there. Okay. Should have left the clear in, in the bottle. There we go, clear push. I don't know, this is really thick. I don't know that it's gonna have enough oomph. 
All right. World's smallest dragon eye. Maybe. <laughs> so with my extra resin, I think I'm just going to play. So I have this little triangle here. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put the leftovers in here. We're back. I have let this sit probably for a couple, two and a half hours or so. So it's still squishy. You can see I haven't um, cured it at all. There are a ton of bubbles. Now I have my doubts that I'm gonna be able to even cure this because the sides of the mold aren't clear like they are with, the tr with this one. Um, and there's also the concern over the pigments. The UV rays may not get through them either. Only one way to find out though. Let's get her started. I'll probably do this a couple of times. All right, so I have put this under a timer several times, probably about three or four minutes worth and it is not really working. So I did push it down on one side and, and the resin came up over, I cured it again, but I wanna show you. So see, it's still squishy. So only that top layer has cured and the stuff underneath has not. The top layer gets nice and crispy, but not the bottom. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a hot mess. Hot, hot mess. So has it worked? No, not really. Now, would it work potentially <laughs> if it were, um, if it were in a clear container? I still don't know. So look at my pyramid here. It was, this had a um, penetrable uh, casing. So it did get hard in the UV lamp, but I think that, well, kind of, actually it's a little soft. See that? It bulges. So no, I can say definitively now using UV resin will not work for any type of flower or any type of thing that requires the resin to move, um, regardless of whether it's in a mold that blocks the UV resin or if it's like this, simply because of the pigment, um, because of the pigment powders. Now, I, it's just, it was an interesting experiment. Um, but yeah, it's not worth it. Get regular resin, let it work, let it do its thing. Um, and plus the fact UV resin's so darn expensive. So why do the other? But this was interesting and I thought it was um, a fun thing to share. 
and to mess around with and make a mess with. So I've done it now. Now you don't have to. Never use UV resin for this type of stuff. <laughs> All right. Thank you for being with me at Kim's Art Alchemy for this crazy experiment. Over and out. Till next time. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.